Welcome to this video, we're going to show you the removal of the source files for roles and features under Windows Server 2012. The reason we might want to do this is to reduce the uh, footprint of the operating system, but also reduce the amount of space that's taken up when actually storing the patch files. So for example, if you patch a machine, if um, some of the patches are not applicable for the roles that are needed, those files still get stored on the disk just in case you ever install the role in the future. So as we can see here, we've actually got um, my single server um, running a range of roles. We can see there's just one server being spoken about in Server Manager. So this is the machine that we're going to basically sort of reduce the footprint. And if we was then to image this machine, so on, it would just obviously make that all a, a lot smaller. So you can obviously remove the source files on a per feature basis if you want to. Here I'm just going to very easily remove source files for features that are not installed on this machine. So if we go and have a look at the Win SXS folder, the Windows side by side folder, we can actually see currently at this moment in time is it's somewhere around uh, just over six gigabytes in size. So that's the sort of disk space that's being consumed by all of the side by side files that are used during installation processes. So we'll close that down. So we'll open a PowerShell command prompt and the first thing we want to do is actually have a look at the list of Windows features. So we'd use the get hyphen Windows feature PowerShell command prompt what this will actually show us is the um, features that are actually installed with the uh, X in the left hand column and the installed keyword in the third column. It will show us which features are available to be installed and the source files are present on the system. They will have the keyword available and it will also show us which uh, systems potentially we could install but actually we don't have the source files for. So you can see there with PowerShell version 2 it's got a status of removed so the source files are not actually on the system. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use this list as a way to remove the source files for all of the uh, available features because we don't need those source files in this instance. So I'm just piping the get Windows feature command into the where hyphen object command and I'm actually um, telling it that I actually want to look at the where the install state, so that's the from actually uh, equal, so minus EQ and I'm going to say available. So the idea is this command will then only act against, obviously, the components which we have the source files on. So you can see now, just entering that command there, the list has now been summarized. All the features that have been installed, all the features which um, have the source files removed from the system already, have not actually been returned. So we've actually got the, the, the basics for the command that we want to run. So what we now need to do is we now need to just send that into the uh, uninstall command. So hopefully by doing an uninstall hyphen Windows feature and using the minus remove uh, keyword that will then actually remove um, the actual physical files from the system. Having entered the command, you can now see we're starting to actually remove the files from the system. This is going to take a little while, so I'll speed the video up here and we'll come back when this is complete. So we can now see, having completed the process, we now have a, a success or an exit code of success and a success status of true. And in the feature results, it actually shows us the features that have basically been removed. So obviously it's a comma separated list so we could expand that if we wanted to. Hopefully if we go and run the get hyphen windows feature command we should now see a different status for all the features that are not installed. So the features don't say available anymore you'll now notice that they say removed. Because the features are removed obviously if now you wanted to install a feature you have to specify the source uh, the location for the source files or allow the system to have internet access so it can download them from the Windows Update site. Before we look at that, let's just go and look at what the disk space savings have been. So if we go back to the uh, WinSXS folder, the side-by-side -side folder, and look at the properties, you can see now we're at about 1.39 gigabytes 
of space. So we've we've saved ourselves somewhere between 1.6 and 1.8 gigabytes of disk space um, on this particular machine by removing all of those source files. So what if we wanted to actually install one of the features that we've removed? Well, if I go through the graphical tool, and obviously I could use the install hyphen Windows feature command to achieve the same results. But if I pick a, uh, a feature that I want to install that's not been installed, so for example, we'll pick on the application server feature, you'll notice when we get to the confirmation dialog box, it actually reports to us that the source files are unavailable for the feature that we've actually selected. So you see I get the warning box at the top of the screen. So what I have the ability to do is specify an alternate source path for being able to uh, retrieve the source files from. So I can even point the system uh, at effectively a copy of the installation media. So if I had a CD, a DVD, I could put the DVD in the drive, or if I've got the uh, the, the files exploded so I've got access to the sources folder um, I could point it to that or I could mount the install win but you'll also notice um, in the bottom part of the box that it actually allows us to pull the content from a WIM file directly using the syntax WIM colon and then the physical location to the WIM file so e colon backslash sources backslash install dot WIM and then the last parameter, colon, in this case in the example 4, is it's the fourth image inside the WIM file, because obviously WIM files can contain multiple images. So we can basically have an exploded WIM file we can pull the content from, we can pull the content directly from a WIM file, or we can allow the system to download the source files from the Microsoft Windows Update site, providing Windows Updates configured, and the system has access to the internet. Hopefully this has been useful just to show you um, this new capability, this improvement over what we had under Vista and Windows 7 in terms of being able to remove um, unneeded files once a, a service pack has been applied for example. So here we can actually remove the files for the features before we've done any patching. So not only will that reduce the footprint, it will also reduce the need to maintain all the patch files um, on the system as, as the system grows over time. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please watch some of my other videos in, in, in my series. If you need to contact me, please feel free to follow me on Twitter or my email address is on the slide. Thank you very much for watching this video.